Hello fellow hippies and welcome back to my channel. I'm Liz the Flourishing Hippie and today I thought I would do a makeup tutorial slash kind of get ready with me q and I'm going to do a pumpkin spice look inspired by the queen Rachel Maxey herself. She inspired me a couple years ago to try out this look and I thought I would do it here for you guys. So I want to start out by saying I am not trained in makeup artistry. I don't wear makeup that often. Um, if I do, it's just a simple powder foundation, bronzer, blush, brows, a little bit of eyeshadow, and mascara. So this will be a fun look to try out and I hope you guys enjoy it and most of all I hope it turns out good. So let's get started. So I've already done my skincare routine for the day. If you're interested in learning what kind of products I use, let me know down in the comments below. First off, I'm going to start by doing a liquid foundation. Now I never do this, but I, I do want to make sure that the color is consistent over my face when I do the orange blush and such. For my foundation, I'm using the Dior Skin Forever in the color 14. So I'm going to put a little bit of the foundation on the back of my hand and I like to put it on my skin. This is just to help warm it up so it goes on more evenly and I will just do it in the trouble spot that I know I kind of have with a little bit of redness. I have my beauty blender and it's nice and damp. I'm just going to try and blend that in. You don't want any like spots or streakiness. Using the Laura Mercier translucent powder, so I'm gonna just lightly apply this all over my face. Okay, now that that's set, let's get started our Q&A. I asked on Instagram some questions you guys might have, and one of the first questions I got was, "How did you come up with the name The Flourishing Hippie?" I have a degree in photography. Um, and I was applying to a lot of places, obviously, to get started in that career choice. And I was having a really hard time getting a job. They wanted people with experience, but obviously I was just out of school, so I didn't have any. So I decided, you know what? I'm gonna take everything I enjoy, travel, lifestyle, all those things, and put them into one. So I started the blog, The Flourishing Hippie. And I was also going through a transition period just in life in general, so I thought, I love nature, I like sustainability, I like thrifting, I like doing things I can to help the environment. I've always enjoyed that, so that's why I decided on hippie and then flourishing because I'm always growing, I'm always changing as a person, so that was why I decided with the flourishing hippie. And at first I wasn't really sure about the name, um, I just felt like maybe it wasn't a good fit, but you know. I've been doing the blog now for um, five years last month and I feel like it actually really fits now. Okay, so next I'm going to put on my bronzer and it's the Beige Girl Powder Palette Mineral Glow Girls um, from Physicians Formula and you can tell it's been used a lot. This look specifically, I'm going to put it all over my cheeks because I want this bronzed, orangey, pumpkin-y spice look. As you can see, it's like a little bronzy throughout, a bit orange tone, which is exactly what I want. So that looks good. I'm going to probably add more as we go, but I just want to get the basic orange tone across. Now that we have our bronzer on, I'm going to answer another question. What's your favorite thing about Disneyland during fall? Now this is a hard question because obviously I've only been the recent time, but I think my favorite thing there was definitely the decor that they had throughout. It was so festive, it puts you in the mood for fall. And I also like, like all the treats they have. I didn't try a lot as I just recently had dental surgery, so I can't eat a lot of things right now, but definitely in the future, I'm going to try a lot more. Okay, next I'm gonna put on a, just a little bit of blush. And this is the color I'm using. It's really pretty dark rose burgundy color. I'm just gonna put it lightly over the cheek area 
just to enhance the cheeks. Next, I'm gonna start applying on our pumpkin orange tone. And I am sorry, but I'm using a eyeshadow color for my cheeks. It is from the Modern Renaissance Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And the color is called Real Gar. These palettes are amazing. They're very pigmented, so you don't have to use a lot. So I'm just gonna just lightly go over it and blend it out. As you can tell, this color is very orange, warm, pumpkin-y, but also very pigmented. So I'm going to continue blending that out, and I'm going to answer your next question, which is, what's your favorite thing about October? Oh, my favorite thing about October. Let me count the ways. October is one of my favorite months, and I really enjoy just the feel of it. Like, the trees are changing. I can wear all my favorite sweaters again. I love the idea of costumes and dressing up. And yes, I love October. Okay, so next I'm going to start my eyes. I'm gonna start by building the color with the tempura. And then I'll move on to these warmer tones, probably the burnt orange, before adding some of the Reglar. So the eyes basically done for shadow. Let me answer one of your next questions. What's your favorite candy? Good question since it's October. Um, honestly, I'm not really the candy person. Um, I much prefer like cheesecake or pie if I was gonna do a dessert. If I had to pick one candy, okay, I have two. Probably Heath Bar and Buena bars, those are probably my two favorites. So the reason I didn't go all the way in with the darker shadow is because I like to add a little bit of a highlight on the inside eye. And I'm gonna add some on the inner part of my eye here, a little spotlight. So my eyes are fairly done. I'm gonna go back to my nose area and get that completed before I finish my eyes, brows, mascara. But before I get started on that, I'm gonna answer the next question. And the next question is, What's your favorite Halloween costume as a kid? So that's a great question. I have quite a couple of them. One of my favorites is a really adorable clown and my sister was a cat and it was just super cute. And then another one of my favorites was we were the Spice Girls for Halloween. I was Baby Spice, my sister was Sporty Spice. I was once a dead motorcyclist. I had like a fake hand. I was Medusa, I was a witch. So those are some of my favorite costumes as a kid. Sorry for the changing in lighting, guys. My camera battery died. Um, so while I was off camera, I did do my eyebrows. So if you're interested in what products I use, please leave a comment down below and let me know. So let's jump into another question. What's your favorite Halloween movie? I think I'd have to say Hocus Pocus number one, without doubt. Um, Sleepy Hollow, I just love that movie. And then Halloween Town, classic. If you were a kid in the 90s and you grew up with the Disney Channel, you know what I'm talking about. So now that my brows are done, I think I'm gonna jump into finishing my eyes. So I'm gonna do a very light liner on my eyes. So the eyeliner is done. I think it turned out pretty good. I don't use eyeliner that often anymore, but I think it looks good. And I think I want to add faux freckles throughout. So I have a black and white pencil. I'm going to just add little dots throughout. So while I finish this side of the face with the freckles, I thought I'd answer another question. So what are you hoping to share with your YouTube channel or how are you wanting to progress? I think that's a great question. So I initially started my YouTube channel a couple years ago and I only did one video, but 
after the last two years, I'm hoping to just chronicle my life for memories, but also because I already had my blog and I wanted to expand past that. So my hope to progress is just to share with you guys like travel, lifestyle, fashion, sustainability, just everyday things. And I hope that people find it interesting because I'm really enjoying this so far. It's brought a lot of happiness and um, creativity into my life recently. And it's just nice being on a creative of schedule which is why I really like this. So the freckles are all done. I'll show you close. They're very like muted but you can still see them. So now that that's done I'm going to do mascara, lashes, <laughs> and lipstick. So let's get that done. So for my mascara I'm using the Honest Beauty mascara in black and it has comes with a lash primer on one end and then the mascara on the other and it's a really skinny brush which I really like. So now that we have our mascara on and before we start putting on the eyelashes I'm going to do my lips so I'm using the NYX Lip Liner 860 Peekaboo Neutral. So it's a really nice neutral tone and I like to get right along the lip line. I have two different colors in lip tone so I think I'm going to mix them. I have both of them are in Revlon and one of them is 26 Abstract Orange and the other one is in Blushing Nude. Okay, now that's done. Let's do the eyelash battle and see how it turns out. <laughs> I'm going to be using the Duo Lash, the one that uh, goes on in black. I'm going to be using Adele Lashes in Demure. Should we look guys? I'm shook. I actually got it. <laughs> I was really, really nervous about it. I never, I haven't worn lashes since college really, so this is, this is fun. I'm here for it. I'm gonna go do the other one off camera and I'll come right back. And now I think it's time to start the look. I think I'm here for this look. I love this little pumpkin headpiece I made last year around Halloween and I've never been able to style it. And I think it's just like such a fun look for if you're wanting to do something different for just makeup look or if you're looking for a costume. So I thought I'd answer one more question. What's my favorite fashion piece? I'm a huge sucker for sweaters and boots. I think they're the perfect combo. Pair it with a skirt, pair it with a dress, with the sweater on top or jeans. They're just perfect cozy outfit. Um, for the season. If you made it to the end of this vlog, thank you so much for sticking with me. It's meant so much to me to see so many of you just take the time to watch my videos or like them or subscribing. It honestly blows my mind that people enjoy what they're seeing so far or just supporting me, so thank you so much. So if you like this video, please comment below, hit the like button, and subscribe. Keep on flourishing. Thanks guys.